Hawaii day number two. Today we're going out to Pearl Harbor, so stick with us and hopefully you guys enjoy. It's been a long time since I've been to Pearl Harbor, so I'm not exactly sure um, what it's like, but I do remember this is, I mean, it's gonna be a pretty serious video, so hopefully you guys enjoy some of the sights and um, yeah, just learn a lot of history about Pearl Harbor today. So stick with it and let's get rolling. One of the original anchors from the USS Arizona. Mm -hmm. Alright, we just bought tickets for the USS Bowfin, a little submarine here at Pearl Harbor. We're going to go down in it, hopefully, explore a little bit. There she is in all of her glory. That is too small for me to be on for very long. I don't know how some people do it. Like months at a time. I love the name, the USS Bowfin. Big old cooter right in here. I just, I don't understand how anybody could stay on a sub for a long period of time and they're just not big enough. Going down. It looks like it's got low head clearance. Really, really low clearance. These are the missiles. The torpedoes? How do you move them? Does the whole rail slide, I'm guessing? That's cool. So we're down inside the USS Bowfin. Here is some of the torpedoes they got. This place is pretty neat. Dude, you have to be a little guy to sleep in a bed. Look at the head. Oh, I didn't even notice the bed. How yeah, do you even know, get in there? This one pulls out. Don't. <laughs> little beds. I bet this comes down. I know nowadays you can be in a sub for quite some time. I don't know how long you'd have to be in a sub here, but this is a very confined space to not be able to see anything outside for more than like a day. I would yeah. be going claustrophobic. Sacrifice people make. It's crazy. Just look at the sheer size of this torpedo. This thing's got a bigger fin on the back than my boat has. Safety procedures. All right, let's keep trucking. Take a shower and a toilet. And one. Oh that's my God, the shower, that's the toilet. toilet. Where? The toilet. That's the toilet. <laughs> and then there's a shower in that one. Not very luxurious. And this hole is tiny. You got it, babe. Oh man, I'm gonna struggle with this. I don't know if I can get through there, honestly. Get the door on this thing. Look at the beds here. So is this where they would cook at? Just a tiny I little sink? Like this is more like what Kyle would be in, something that has like a dual bed like this. Yeah. So I'm well, they got a radio, but I mean, what station are you gonna listen to when you're under the water? K105. K105. I don't know. I don't know. Bob any. FM. Get the beds. I'm guessing you roll out of one and somebody rolls into it. This is really, really tight lip. Keys for something. 
The doorways are not very big. I think it's interesting how they all seal. I'm guessing that's like in case of an emergency. Yeah. Something starts to fill up. This is bigger than I guess you think it is. It just feels really, really floor. tight. There's a third floor up there. Here's the kitchen. Ah. Yeah. Another giant missile looking thing. The majority of the Look how many beds there are. Top there have been like 20 people on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Top bunk, the best bunk. It's crazy. The doorways are a little short. More torpedoes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right there is the USS Arizona. They're gonna like you. Thank you. Hope you guys are having a good time. Yeah. Absolutely. Eating price outdoors. What do you think? I think I'm gonna just start it up and take it for a quick spin. We take a lap around the, take a the lap bay. Real quick around it makes the bay. you appreciate the people that run one of these. There's 10,000 yeah. knobs in there, 100,000 buttons. I don't know how you. And can... it's actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still extremely small in there. It's tight. It looked like there had to have been 30, 40 beds, so it's full of people while you're down there. Tight living. How many bathrooms we see? One. No, there was two in the front and then two in the back. Okay, two. And then one in that captain's room, I think. Okay. One in the captain's room. So I guess there's ample places. Um, I think that would be extremely loud. You guys look <laughs> natural. <laughs> we know what we're doing. Can, Watch you, out. can you finally see? <laughs> yeah. Can you actually see through that? Yeah, you can. There's one in the wow. Nifty. Fire! <laughs> Well, they that's where they sit right here, and they could look through here. Yeah, you can sit there. That is a big bowl of shell round. All right, the USS Bofin was pretty neat. Heading off the, the little uh, submarine now. Pretty cool. The torpedoes were insane. The amount of beds is insane. Neat. Onward to, I think we're going to the USS Arizona next. So we'll meet you over there.
Arizona. I don't think I've ever been in this yeah, there's hundreds of people here and it's extremely quiet. Everyone's showing their respects. Pretty neat little structure to honor. So I think the ship went all the way out to that white buoy. Yeah, there's a white buoy on the other side. It kind of looks like there's a triangle point like that was the bow. I don't know what the other concrete stuff means unless there's something smaller that sunk right there. Yeah. There's one of those oil stains. You can see it clear as day in the camera. It shimmers, doesn't it? it? Shimmers and you can smell the fuel now. Mm -hmm. oh, that was the first time I've been able to smell it. Hmm. I don't get why it pops out like a little bit, so why it doesn't just constantly leak until it's gone. times we'll see if they do it again we're gonna do some exploring today go around the ship some and you know just get lost so I'm guessing this shell right here that weighs the same as a Volkswagen is what they shot. They could shoot 23 miles with this thing and shoot one every 30 seconds. out now hope you enjoyed our little video today Pearl Harbor is pretty neat kind of a very serious place and pretty cool ships was awesome the memorials were neat so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one